Yo, what's up? It's Yarami. So this is the part two of how to build a uh, Upwork or Fiverr style marketplace. Um, you can go back and watch part one uh, if you haven't already. Uh, but basically, uh, part one is just kind of the initial um, walking you through uh, how I actually built without code.io. Um, which is a kind of demo services style marketplace uh, that I uh, built. You can see it uh, live on the domain without code.io. Um, so this is a live marketplace. You can sign up for it, uh, create a listing, book an expert on here. But the concept is uh, to hire someone to build your uh, business without code. It's fairly straightforward. Um, so it's kind of like banking on like the, whole, the entire kind of no code movement and just helping people just uh, find and hire experts that can help them kind of take their idea to live product. So the first video kind of explained how to build the core marketplace functionality. And then these kind of landing pages I, I did mention are obviously on Insta page as you've uh, heard and kind of seen before. So this video is going to focus on this home page, these other landing pages, and how they integrate with the core share tribe kind of platform uh, to allow for this um, kind of custom overall uh, look and feel of the marketplace. So uh, we'll just kind of do like a quick kind of refresher um, from part one, but this is the home page as you see. Um, you can click on the get started that then takes you to the to the actual marketplace so you can see all the listings there's only like five listings right now i haven't even launched the this uh this marketplace um but you will once again notice the url is without code.sharetribe.com same thing when you click on a listing uh the url is without code.sharetribe.com now when you click on the w up here the logo on the top left nav We'll go back, you'll notice that link to the home page. So the home page is without code.io. So obviously that's on a different kind of um, hosted platform. That's going to be Insta page. Now, some of the other pages, I created a bunch of different landing pages uh, that I'm linking to on this home page that are also hosted on Insta page. So this top kind of notification bar is going to basically be a, a page that is also on Insta page. Uh, that's uh, a, a targeted landing page for people uh, to hire someone that has share tribe expertise to build a marketplace. So, of course, that's what I'm doing this video on uh, because I get a lot of uh, requests for people um, from people that, uh, that say, hey, I have an idea. Can you help me take it you know, uh, to a live marketplace? So just kind of banking off that, I kind of created this target landing page. And since uh, I do a ton of tutorials on it. Uh, this is fairly targeted and then if they click get started on that uh, basically what that does um, is then it, uh, it it basically you can see the URL right here it is linked to uh, a basically a filtered search result so you can see the share tribe uh, selection right there so um, we'll go back we'll click on on the home page right here uh, I have a few different ones for different tools so I'm going to show you another one so I built one for web webflow right so I basically duplicate the page and Insta page and kind of changed out the logo, um, the name right here. Uh, and then this is a targeted page for people that have Webflow experience. So uh, for the get started to that, that would then take to the listings with Webflow selected uh, as a filter. So so we'll go back to the uh, home page right here. Um, we're gonna I'm just gonna click through a few other pages so you can see all the different pages. Um, that are built using Instapage. So uh, I have one targeted for people that are uh, no code experts, um, basically just to kind of have like this landing page so they can uh, learn more about it. It looks a little bit slicker. And it's not just like creating an account. So this is like for people uh, that might want to join and offer their expertise on, uh, on without code. So you can see right here, the call to action to get started is then to create an account at, a, at an expert listing. Um, so as you'll notice, like a lot of the pages just kind of use the overall, the same overall look and feel, cause these are all different modules in the Insta page. So for the sake of time, I simply just duplicated each page and then kind of swapped out the text and some of the modules and whatnot. So this entire build, I mean, it actually, I probably did it quicker than it's uh, taking, you know, to, to, uh, actually make these kind of tutorial videos. Um, but it's very straightforward. Uh, I actually kind of took a card from Indie Hacker, so I like their uh, footer. So I kind of use like a same kind of like layout over here. Um, and you can just see like where I link to all the different pages. So I have a few other pages on Insta page.
So similar kind of look and feel. Um, I have like a showcase. So that way, if people are looking to hire, you know, people to take their idea to business, they can also see some examples um, of some kind of no code or without code, uh, you know, businesses that have been built. So for this kind of like showcase page, I plan to probably build this out a little bit more and have some like filters by different uh, tools or platforms. So not just for marketplaces, but probably for like Webflow, Bubble, some of the others. Um, but I basically just embedded like an air, air table um, table right here so that people can kind of scroll through and see some of those. And these are actually a lot of different shared tribe marketplaces that I've built. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's a link, an external link to an article. Then I have like a little DIY kind of section here. So maybe for people that don't want to hire someone, but they're just kind of clicking around, just like want to see some tutorials like this. Um, I just kind of created this in Insta page. So that way I can kind of just like link in a new window to these different resources. So these are kind of like all just different placeholder pages that I've created and I plan to kind of add more to each uh, over the course of time. But these are all on Insta page and then it just uses simple URL linking uh, to either link to other Insta page uh, pages or it links to the share tribe uh, pages. So you'll notice like the privacy policy down here at the very bottom of the footer actually links to the privacy policy on the share tribe kind of hosted uh, uh, platform, which is like the core marketplace platform. So I did mention in, in part one uh, video of how I kind of set up like all these different pages and kind of edited these. So kind of going uh, back to the home page. Um, if you don't have Insta page, um, it, I, I think it is a little bit more expensive now, like 150 a month or something. Um, so it's not the cheapest kind of uh, tool or platform to use, but it's a great kind of uh, visual kind of, um, I would say like page kind of designer kind of editor. Um, so I use it a lot. Uh, you can see right here, uh, this is like my main dashboard. So this is like the page itself right here. Um, and I'm going to click on the edit. Uh, it might take a little bit to load. Sometimes it's slow. But I'm just going to show you the on-screen kind of editor for that page and how easy it is to kind of uh, add modules, um, you know, edit text, add images and whatnot. So it's taking a little bit to load. But we'll get, hopefully this will get loaded up soon. Okay, here we go. So here's the home page. So I'm, at, I'm on the actual edit state and you'll see uh, when I, uh, you can even see that it shows like a, the kind of hover block, like insert block. So all these different sections on the home page, so you see right here, like this header section, these are actually kind of like, uh, they're called blocks in Insta page. So you can add different elements uh, to the block. So you can add like a headline, which is this text. You can add different like paragraph text. You could add forms. You can add a button, which is this primary get started. So you can add all these different elements to the different blocks on your, your uh, page. And so what I did is I just started with a simple template and just started dropping in things. For instance, like the logo on the top left, the text, the call to action. So on the get started, uh, you can see like the edit over here of like, you know, the button text, the font. Um, you can see like the URL. So like, Right here, I, ha I also have tracking on it because I want to see, you know, how many people are landing on the homepage and then seeing the header and clicking get started. But that actually links to the share tribe. Um, so it's without code.sharetribe.com. So it's not just to another Insta page. Um, but you'll see below this kind of text, like looking to join as an expert instead of get started. So this actually links to an Insta page because I created a kind of custom design landing page for that. So basically, as you're starting to understand, I just use a bunch of different kind of like URL linking. So that way people, they basically arrive on a landing page. It is like a custom look and feel and simply based off of where they're kind of navigating to and clicking on, then that kind of links them to whatever the best kind of page for that is and, and user experience, whether that's another Insta page or if it is core kind of marketplace functionality, like signing up, um, discovering listings, requesting a book, messaging, all of that, then that's on the kind of core share tribe marketplace platform. So here's all the different blocks. We'll just kind of keep going down through this. Um, and as I did show you uh, for some of the other landing pages, they utilize a lot of the same blocks. So right here, for instance, this is like a saved block. So I just saved it to my block and then I insert the block on the other pages. So if I'm going to copy this entire page, I could easily do so and just call it slash experts, right? And then I could kind of like drop in the blocks wherever I need them, change the layout, change the text, even the kind of like change the logos. 
um, for whatever's you know best suited for that page. And then uh, I, I could save it and then make it live on the URL. Um, so this is the basic home page right here. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. So we'll just go back. I didn't make any changes. So here's the kind of like the main dashboard for that uh, page. You can also do like variation testing on this. Obviously, like I'm just building like a quick kind of MVP. So I'm not doing anything um, that requires that for my URL setting. Um, on here, I did configure the domain. So www.withoutcode.io. Um, I configured so in within ends the page and then also in GoDaddy who I use for hosting I just changed the DNS so that way that without code.io is going to basically point to the insta page and all those pages and then I can simply link uh, of course like a share or sorry without code.sharetribe.com um, that's actually not my uh, domain so when it comes to kind of uh, all the different hosting and domain configurations. That's actually something I just configured when I initially set up ShareTribe and that they kind of host. So the only kind of actual hosting and kind of uh, domain configuration that I have to do is the, the main level domain www.withoutcode.io. So that's fairly straightforward on this. Um, this is the, the main homepage. So uh, I'm not gonna walk you through every single uh, custom landing page as far as like the edit state for that configuration because it's very straightforward. Um, all I did in Instapage was um, I literally just uh, clicked on duplicate the page. I just renamed the page title, like say for instance, without code experts. I just kind of uh, changed the blocks around, changed the text, changed the links. Um, and then I made those pages live uh, and then just changed the, the links primarily in all the navigation. So in the footer um, and then also too uh, on the share tried marketplace. So that's uh, all the Insta page. So now what we're gonna do uh, is we're assuming that you've set up your initial share tribe marketplace uh, on the share tribe hosted, uh, obviously on their platform using share tribe go, and it could even be a free trial. And you also have a custom um, home page that you've made on Insta page. So using this, you could publish live to www.withoutcode.io. Uh, now, um, we're going to go back to share tribe and just kind of walk through some kind of last steps. Um, there are a few kind of small things that I did. So for instance, on the home page and that's live over here on home, just make sure that URL is www.withoutcode.io and not www. or sorry, not withoutcode.sharetribe.com because then there will be like a disconnect between the custom home page and the marketplace. Um, same thing for clicking on the logo up here in the top left of the navigation. Um, and then one of the last things that I'll mention, and I'll probably do a, a whole other video on this later, is I did have to hide a few elements um, on ShareTribe. So typically they have like a listing kind of type drop down right above the listings and like a map view kind of setting. I actually hid that um, and I hid the header. So there is, this is kind of cheating because I guess the entire kind of video is based off of like no code, but in the design over here, so you can add custom script. So you'll see the script right here that I simply added. That's just like a, it's basically just like CSS that I hide. So you can see um, basically like the, the naming conventions right here. So the marketplace landing header. Um, and then I hid the, the toolbar and the Google Maps on each listing. So that's simple. Um, if you want to comment below, um, I can probably share that script with you. Uh, if you need to hide certain elements on your shared try marketplace, uh, and honestly, there's probably so much interest in it uh, based off of kind of my past uh, people just emailing me and messaging me. I'll probably do a whole other video just uh, kind of walking through some of the different kind of like lightweight CSS and uh, kind of customizations you can do for different elements on ShareTribe. Uh, but that was like the last kind of steps that I took um, in order to basically go from idea um, to a live uh, Upwork or Fiverr style, style marketplace um, not just using ShareTribe, but using Instapage kind of custom landing pages and home pages. So that way this is a very kind of refined, um, or at least a lot more refined than a simple kind of ShareTribe uh, basic marketplace. Um, and hopefully it's a good user experience. So hopefully you found uh, part one and part two of this helpful. If you have any questions, definitely comment below. Uh, you know, give me a like on the video for a thumbs up. You know, this definitely uh, kind of helps me to, and uh, motivates me to keep making these. Um, and I'll also include links below. Those are affiliate links, but um, you know, that's great because it kind of helps me out to kind of keep making these videos too. 
So thanks for watching this and uh, comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.